What happens if you take the same amount of money and every single month you invest it in one of the biggest stock markets in the world, but then you take that same amount of money and use it to buy tickets in the national lottery? What would be the better return by the end of the year? Over the next 12 months, we're about to find out. Welcome back to Casual Cash. Now that is quite the intro and this is going to be quite the experiment over this year. So I was inspired by two things that I've seen and heard in the financial news and I decided that we would put it to the test here on this channel. So by the end of this video we will have bought shares into three of the biggest stock exchange indexes in the world as well as using that same amount to buy tickets into this week's lottery. So let's get started. So I said that I got inspired by two things in the news lately, but how exactly did I go from hearing something in the news to this experiment? Well, lately the world markets have been sinking, brought about by low interest rates, global supply chain issues and inflation, and everyone is trying to figure out when will this bottom out or if it will go down further. The answer is that no one really knows for sure, which has led to many people using the phrase that trying to time the market is like playing the lottery. Well, that led us to part one. The second was based on a bit more facts. This was a thought experiment I saw done by an Instagram channel called Personal Finance Club. In this thought experiment, they showed three scenarios about timing the market over the last 40 years. The first is where a person saved their money and invested at exactly the bottom of the market after each big crash, having the perfect timing. The second person had the absolute worst timing by investing at the peak of the market before all of the biggest crashes. And the last person invested the same amount every month regardless of the market, regardless of timing. And as you can see, the person who invested the same amount every month regardless of the market came out on top with the highest return. And that led us to part two. This got me thinking, all the market commentators talk about reckless trading and timing the market as playing the lottery, but every year people do win the lottery. And these are the 10 biggest lottery wins in the United States. And as you can see, people have won as much as $1.5 billion or 22 billion Rand. That would make you the fifth richest person in South Africa and is more than you could ever win by investing that same amount in index funds. Or you could get nothing. But at the same time, the most safe, sound, and thoughtless method of investing, just blindly putting money into top index funds each month, can end up having some of the best returns for investors. So this year, we're going to put this to the test. Every single month, we're going to take 100 Rand per investment and invest that same amount between three different ETFs in the biggest stock markets in the world. That means 100 Rand to the S&P 500, which is the 500 biggest companies in the United States of America, the FTSE 100, which is the 100 biggest companies in the United Kingdom, and the Satrix Top 40, which is the 40 biggest companies in my country, South Africa. And lastly, we're gonna take another 100 Rand and buy 20 boards a month of tickets for the South African National Lottery and add together all of the winnings that we get from those. Then at the end of the year in December, we're gonna tally up all the results, all the investments and all the winnings and see what comes out on top. Truly a test of gambling versus solid and sound investing. The market might do well and we might not win any tickets or it could take just one even medium lotto win to make it for the whole year. So right here live on the channel, let's go and set up our recurring investments into the three market indexes and then we'll head over and buy our first set of lottery tickets. Let's start off with our S&P 500 investment in the USA. We're going to go to invest now, select ETF, then we're going to search for S&P 500. For this one, we're going to use the core shares S&P 500. You can see the market has been down this month, which could be a good opportunity for growth this year. All right, so we're gonna set up a recurring investment uh, so that it invests the same amount every month automatically. Uh, so we're gonna set up a 100 Rand investment for each of the funds, then we're gonna make it excluding transaction fees so the full 100 Rand gets invested. Same as the lottery tickets. We'll use our account funds, we'll set up monthly, and we'll make it for the 28th of every month. Now today is the 28th, so it's exactly the same day every month, including February, but I see it needs three business days to set up, so we're gonna set this up to start in February and go buy our first shares right now manually. All right, so we're gonna set it up. Let's make it 100 Rand exactly without the fees. Let's buy these, there we go, done. And here they are right here in our portfolio. Price movements are immediate, so they're already 0.13% up. 
Okay, awesome. So first investment down and a recurring investment set up for every month in the year. Now let's go and repeat the process. Like I said earlier, we're going to be setting up these investments, both the recurring investment of 100 Rand per month, which will go off the same time automatically, and the single individual investment that we're making right now to begin the process and have an investment for the first month. Now we've already invested in the first stock market, which is American uh, Standard & Poor's 500, called the S&P 500. Then we're going to set up the same investment for the Satrix Top 40 in South Africa. And the third investment is going to be the market of the United Kingdom and the London Stock Exchange, the FTSE 100. All right, there we go. All the stocks are bought and recurring purchases set up. Let's head on over and buy some lottery tickets. I don't know why, but this one is quite exciting. I don't usually play the lotto. So here we are, I'm going to be using my online banking to purchase the tickets, which is FNB. Really is the easiest because it's immediate. You can do quick pick, which allocates random numbers for the tickets. And lastly, it pays any winnings right into your bank account, which I can track. So here we're playing the standard lotto, which is five Rand per board, which means for 100 Rand, we'll be buying 20 boards every single month. So let's buy, accept and confirm. I'm not going to show the numbers because I don't know if that's allowed or not, but I'll check for the next video so we can put them up. And that's it. Lottery tickets are purchased and we are off to the races. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video where we will be putting the national lottery against stable and solid investing advice and seeing which one wins over the year. We'll be doing this every month and showing the results of the stocks and our tickets. So if you like this kind of stuff, please feel free to click on the like button. And if you want to see how this unfolds throughout the year and how it ends, please subscribe to the channel where we give all kinds of videos on finance, investing and personal wealth. But until then, I'll see you guys next time on Casual Cash. Cheers.